to Indie Select. We're back with the uh, the best game ever, Zio Drifter. Or the best game ever until we, uh, you know, play a new game on the show. So. Oh, I think <laughs> this is a great game. I and I. See, it heard you. It's talking bad about it. It's like you know what, life system fail. Zio Drifter, I'm sorry. I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, oh, well, geez. um, the eyeball knows exactly. I gotta, what, uh, what, you turn into a rocket there? Uh, yes. You're running fast, you're yes. turning into rockets. Yes. Like, things I, um, are getting pretty legit. I'm trying to kind of reestablish where I am. through the, the sky. All right, so I just I did a perfect square there. The perfect square, yes. Yeah. It's the perfect circles, uh, other band, right? Yeah, the perfect, the perfect square. square, and then they just go through and do like barbershop quartet versions of all like like super hardcore oh, music. Um, I like to think that they're just more nerdy, you know, they're squares. Yeah. So, you know, they got pocket protectors and they sing about calculus. Yeah, they just sing really hardcore music about calculus. Yeah. Yeah, they get, but they it's educational at the same time. So, I mean, they'll they'll teach you all about tangent lines and cosines, you know. Yeah, those are those are math words you're speaking there. Yeah, I know. It's almost like a different language. I know. It is but a different language to me. All for naught. It was all all in vain. It was all a big. Well, uh, yeah, okay. so I'm just trying to get back to my wait. No, I remember that there is. An energy source over here. Okay. As long as I don't die. That is not gonna happen. You're gonna live. I can see that you are living. You are getting lots of energy right there. Heck yeah. I'm all set now. Get up energy, so energy. Head back to my ship. And then figure out what to do. I gained the rocket ability, so now I can jump to high places. I hit my head. Yes, yeah, so that really helps. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can. Oh. I think this. Yeah, this. Eyeballs this, are still gonna be your your nemesis. I'm just. I don't know. I'm just trying to blaze through it. That's my problem. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. This looks new. Yeah, this is a new area. Well, kind of. <laughs> All right. That's the one thing about these exploration games, you gotta figure out where you are. You have to actually as, explore where you're going. As I was gonna say, there's 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 one whole planet that I haven't even been to yet. So we're gonna probably check that out and see what we can do there. The blue planet. The blue planet? Yeah. That's the one. It's we're a, going it's like to your it. Pop up Picasso page and we're going to the blue planet. The blue planet phase. Blue, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to say. Well, the blue planet phase. Yeah, instead of your blue period, it's ah! blue planet period. I got gotcha. you. What yeah. the? What killed me? Like, ah! the eyeballs. What killed me? Those little olive eyeballs. eyeballs. I guess I am. The olive eyeballs are not your friends. I. I'm a doof. I'll admit it. I'm not being careful. Always practice safe space travel, Jacob. Okay. I just... You don't ever know when an olive eyeball is gonna come at you. You know, it's trying called... to give you something that you don't want, like death. It's called Zeo Drifter, and the only way I know how to drift, baby, is Tokyo Drift, all right? Okay, well then you go fast in your car, that's what that's about, right? Yes. Yes. I've never seen it, but I think I that's think pretty much about, what they all are. I think it's about, um, okay, well, what I'd like to think it's about is a piece of wood that had gone through and washed up upon the Tokyo shores. And, uh, cause I'm not even sure if Tokyo has shores, but somewhere it is. Of course Tokyo has shores, it's an and, island. And, uh, yeah, exactly. See, somewhere. I didn't know if that, you know, Tokyo part had any waterways near it. I know nothing, um, apparently about anything. But still, I, I was saying that, you know, that Tokyo Drift is actually about that woods journey into becoming a, a nice piece of driftwood by somebody's uh, mantelpiece, preferably an elderly person. And it's a really calm and peaceful movie. That's what Tokyo Drift is about, right? It's not about car chases, drugs, money, the mafia, or anything else. <laughs> I'm just trying to get back to the, the ship. 
You're I gotta, through I gotta listen to because, your your yeah. wood drift joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your drift one. That's what it's about, right? Oh man, you're you're grasping. I'm, I'm <laughs> you're yeah. hardcore no, grasping. I am. I am. This is what happens when you don't watch movies about cars. <laughs> you get dumber. Yeah. <laughs> you just make definitely these incomprehensible jokes. Oh man, well. I just blame it up to you being tired. Yeah, it no. could be. <laughs> it could be that. It could be that I have some sort of space, uh, space hysteria, space tiredness from drifting so long. Oh yeah, some sort of a uh, space cabin fever. Uh huh. All right. I got space fever. It's like boogie fever, but in space. I got gotcha. you. Mhm. Mm all right, now these eye guys. They hate you. I got a secret weapon. And yeah. it's called shoot them to death. If, oh. you, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm it's gonna be no, for you. It's gonna be no problem here at all. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully I survive. Now last time I ran into the big gray or herpy eye guy and that wasn't so fun. But I'm not gonna do that this time. Nope, no herpes for you. I'm gonna, yeah. All right, here he comes. Ah, shit. No. Oh, no. Pink lava. No! <laughs> I gotta run because of the freaking pink. Uh... I, know. Uh... I know. I know. Oh, man. Okay. Nicole, you gotta help me through this. Okay. I'm not sure Don't if we're in order for I another prom you. story. Um, but... <laughs> it could be depressing. Do you think that I should depress the eyeballs? <laughs> um. Because my prom story wasn't depressing. There was a happy ending. It involved Putt Putt. Yeah, Putt Putt and Taco Bell, right? Right. Okay. That yeah. That's true. St I mean, there's there's happy endings. Sometimes, much like uh, every other Hallmark movie special, there has to be a little strife and there has to be a little bit of, you know, you gotta earn it. You gotta have a moment or two. And then the happy ending comes, and otherwise, you wouldn't know that it was happy. It would just be like, oh, there's Nicole going through life, not happy. That's a problem. Especially like you and those eyeballs. My masseuse is always telling me I need to deserve the happy ending. Yeah, you deserve the happy ending. Yeah. <laughs> you already pay for it. Oh, man. Here it comes. I gotta go through the next room, run through the lava more. The thing is, they, it's an automatic four hit. So, all right. Okay. All right. Whoa, okay. whoa. Whew. All right, buddy. You got it this time. This time is your time. Our time. Hold on. Our maybe time I, up here. Maybe if I can just lay down. Their time. Their time down there. Give him a wave shot. There you go. There you go. I'll just, I'll just chill out here. Is that my winning music? Yeah. This is, is that... your, this is your lazy winning music. Yeah, that sounds like a very lazy mariachi music to make in there. See, it worked. All right. Thank you. I told you a not depressing story about nothing, and you won. And you're back in your ship. Yes. Going to the blue planet? Instead of going to the blue planet, I'm actually going to check out this planet some more. Uh, yeah, there seems to be some things I can do here. Some things? Ah, he's back. Alright. <laughs> oh, thanks for the music. This guy, he's just so sleepy. Here's, here's the energy with this guy. He's, he's tired, right? You look at him? Mm-hmm. And he's just like, oh man, lazy Sunday. Then, I'm wide awake! And he just shoots eye beams right out of his eye. That's what I do when I wake up. Yeah. You must always be tired. I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, it's a it's a rare occurrence. It's my case of the Mondays. It's what happens to me on Monday mornings? Um, and I just wake up and shoot laser beams out of my eyeballs. I'm I'm kind of part mutant. Does that does that ever get in the way of any like relationships? You just... Um, yes. Oh, I I actually I I had some, and then uh, they woke up and saw my morning face, and now they're gone. I thought uh, a woman having, you know, that time of the month might be bad enough, but if you add on a weekly Monday eye beam ritual, that yeah. seems pretty hardcore. It's my sultry look. <laughs> it's incinerating. Well, your sultry looks to die for, right? Yeah, right. Like I said, you know, might be part mutant, but not quite sure where everyone stands on their, uh, whether they're team mutant or not. 
just keep running into those walls. I'm discovering. Good thing you got on a helmet. I'm discovering new things, but I can't. I With can't your get head? There. I'm trying to find new new paths. Oh, okay. These eyes, though, these eyes hate me. All right, so yeah, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have stayed here. I should have went. I should have gone to the blue planet. Yeah. Which I will do. I'm not even gonna bother with bother with eye guy here because Good. you guys know what's up. I kill him. I kill him once before. Just trust me. I can kill him again. I okay. swear. Okay. Oh, All right. no. So. Till next time!